Today we are going through Leonardo da Vinci's AI sketchbook. Let's go and see what we find. The prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci alien sketches. And this is what I got. They are all pretty interesting and I liked all of them. The prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci advanced alien civilization sketches. And this is what I got. I just continued with the alien stuff to experiment and I can't decide on one. They all look so amazing, I like all of them. Dang daddy, what are those? Love it, for this one I had to modify the prompt a little bit to get it, but they look amazing. The last one looks a bit unnatural, but they look awesome overall, especially the text on the sides. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Air Jordan sneakers with pen on papyrus old paper. This one looks pristine, however. The second one is pretty weird, like what kind of smoke is that? And is that a train forming or riding on the smoke? Anyway, these look nice. And the prompt I used here was similar to the last one. Leonardo da Vinci sketch train in old papyrus paper. The next prompt I used was Leonardo da Vinci, the Predator from the movie Predator Sketches. And these are the results. The first two didn't turn out the way I liked because it's not da Vinci style sketches. And I wasn't awed by the last two sketches, but they are not bad. Now, I loved the style on these ones. And if it's not obvious, the prompt I used is Leonardo da Vinci, Donald Trump sketches. The way the fourth image turned out is my personal favorite. Which one did you like? Also, let me know what other things to try out for my next video. Now, what if Leonardo da Vinci invented guns? The prompt for this one is Leonardo da Vinci alien gun sketches and all the generations look amazing and cool to me. You can use this in any manga or anime. You can also create some pretty cool references for your characters with this style. I mean, who wouldn't just do a lot of alien prompts in Leonardo da Vinci's sketch style? This next prompt I used is Leonardo da Vinci alien architecture sketches. And I can't decide which generation I liked best. I mean, of course, you can combine stuff from all of them and create a part of a graphic novel world. Amazing. This one is pretty cool. Although the text on the last image looks printed, but otherwise it's very cool. And the prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci Blade Runner sketches. They all look amazing and I have no favorites. Sorry. The prompt for this one was, ooh, what was it again? Oh, I remembered. Obviously, it's Leonardo da Vinci Jurassic Park sketches, do And again, I loved all of them. I mean, dinosaurs are always cool and stuff, so this was not a problem. Do you have a favorite? Can you guess what the prompt was for this one? It's okay, I'll wait. Exactly, you guessed it. It was Leonardo da Vinci anime sketches. And I don't know what the last image has to do with anime, but the three ladies look cool. And my favorite is the second one because of the small text on the side. Now I continued with anime, but this one I went more specific and the prompt is Leonardo da Vinci Naruto sketches and obviously it's Naruto. Now I love all of them, especially the first one and the second one. I think the last one should be some elders or hookers, which look pretty cool. Again, this style is very inspiring for generating manga or comic book references. Love it. Now for research purposes, I tried the prompt Leonardo da Vinci Tsunade from Naruto anime sketches and I got these images. The first one got it right, the second image got the thing on the middle of her forehead right, and the last two looked pretty lewd, but okay. Also, none of the images had a Leonardo sketch style in them, but hey, that's okay. It's a hot anime girl, so it doesn't matter really. The next one is a bit different from your typical hot anime girl, and the prompt I used is Leonardo da Vinci worm sketches, and as you can see, there are no girls, just weird worms. Are they even worms? Whatever. Now, I went a bit ballistic on this next one, if you catch my dribble. Okay, I know, I will shut up now. So, the prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci football sketches. And I'm not sure why Mid Journey never gives me a football ball. It's always a basketball or a soccer ball. But anyways, it looks cool and I liked all of them. I wanted to generate the meanest thing on this next one, but I only got this. The prompt I used was, wait for it, Leonardo da Vinci. Old man with long beard in a ditch crying. Sketches. Yup, there you have it. I'm an evil little sociopathic man-child. Amazing. This one is pretty cool, although it's not exactly a Leonardo da Vinci sketch style. However, this could be if in the time of Leonardo we had Rick and Morty in a form of a scroll TV or something. And the prompt I used obviously is Leonardo da Vinci Rick and Morty sketches. I love all of these, and these also would be great references for world building. I like the first one, second one, and last one. And the prompt I used for this image is Leonardo da Vinci Disney sketches. I really love the details and blueprint style on the two images on the right, the second and fourth one. Mid-journey and AI is kind of like a fairy tale. 
This sentence will be so cringe in 10 years, but anyways, on to the next one. Okay, now this one looks like some cool shit, baby. Can you guess the prompt? Yes, you guessed it, it's Terminator. And the full prompt is Leonardo da Vinci Terminator sketches. I loved all of them, especially the text on the last one. Amazing. Tell me some examples I should try next in the comments below. On this one, I just thought I'd type the word Lord of the Rings and see what I get. Pretty generic, but looks nice. And the full prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci Lord of the Rings sketches. Now, which one is your precious from these four? This is some Mordor lore. Okay, that's enough. This one is another generic one. I just typed Harry Potter and I got the following images. The full prompt I used is Leonardo da Vinci Harry Potter sketches. I like the two images on the right since they look more like some alchemist examination stuff, but yeah, looks cool. This next one is where Attack on Titan got their inspiration from to create the Titans. The first one is a bit stupid since that's a modern notebook, and the second one as well. However, the sketches look cool, especially the third and fourth image. The prompt I used for this was Leonardo da Vinci Attack on Titan sketches. Which one is your favorite? I laughed my ass off when I generated this image. Can you guess what it is? The full prompt I used for this is Leonardo da Vinci Fast and Furious sketches and they do look fast and furious. Love it. I don't have a favorite since they all look crazy good. I don't know about you, but when I saw this for the first time, it became one of my favorites. I mean, how can you not like these f***ing cyborg little rascals? The prompt I used for this one is Leonardo da Vinci baby cyborg sketches. Now, is this your favorite one so far? Or was it the fast and furious one? Now, being that the moon landing was faked to trick the Russians, I still think this captures Leonardo da Vinci's sketching style. The prompt I used for this one is, of course, Leonardo da Vinci moon landing sketches. I think these would make for great steampunk-style rockets for a niche kind of moon landing movie. Anyways, this next one revolves around the dark arts, which includes the darkest entity of them all, Satan. Now, the prompt I used for this one is fairly obvious. It's Leonardo da Vinci Lucifer sketches. I like the second one, but all of them are kind of cool. Now, this one is a bit weird, since I wanted the Photoshop logo to be sketched in a blueprint style like Leonardo da Vinci's sketches. But I ain't mad at what I got either. These images look pretty cool and clean. The prompt for this one is Leonardo da Vinci Photoshop logo sketches. This one really underwhelmed me. I don't like the last one since it's not a Leonardo sketch style. The second and third look beautiful though. And the theme was supposed to be Pulp Fiction, but I guess Leonardo da Vinci and Samuel Jackson don't meld. The prompt is obviously Leonardo da Vinci Pulp Fiction sketches. I'm gonna be honest, I like this one. I don't know if it's because it feels dirty or mystical or both, but this one was unique. And it does look similar to a Leonardo sketch. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketches Mermaid. My favorites are the first and last one. Now, some of these do look like the Beast Titan from Attack on Titan, but it's actually Hulk. I love these ones. They look pretty clean, and I always love the writings around. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketches Hulk, and my favorite is all of them. Speaking of the Beast Titan, I had to try out that prompt. And this is what I got. Funny enough, I think Hulk looked more like the Beast Titan than these ones, but they are cool nonetheless. Again, this style is great for references as an artist. The prompt for this was Leonardo da Vinci sketches the Beast Titan. Now, this one is a pretty simple one. My favorite is the third one with the land and the text. Really looks mysterious and treasure mappy. The prompt for this one, if you didn't guess by now, was Leonardo da Vinci sketches Indiana Jones. My intention on this one was to combine a cat and a dog into one creature, however. What I got was not bad at all, and it looks pretty cute. Especially the cat in clothes could be the Renaissance puss in boots. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketches dog cats combined. Now I wanted to go simple, Jack, on this bitch, so I just decided to generate clouds in the style of Leonardo da Vinci sketches. It's not bad. It's pretty neutral. I don't like or hate any image in particular. If I have to let you in on the secret prompt, yes, it's Leonardo da Vinci sketches clouds. There, you happy? Okay, next one. Okay, so most of these ones are not Leonardo da Vinci sketch style. However, I wanted to show them to you since they looked pretty cool and fancy. So here you go. Enjoy. Now, if you're a smarty pants, on these ones you can decipher how the government is lying and keeping real history from you. And if you're not smart, looking at cool planets sketched by Leonardo da Vinci sounds good enough. The prompt for this one was 
Leonardo da Vinci sketch planets. This one really made me burst out laughing. My favorite one is the last one. It kind of reminds me of Joe Dirt, Theo Vaughn and Riff Raff. Lovely. And the prompt for this one, again, really simple. Leonardo da Vinci sketch squirrel in suit, even though not in the style of Leonardo sketches, still pretty amazing. I don't know about you, but this one I think really outshines everyone. I could totally see a story outside Marvel with a mysterious anti-hero alchemist magician Spider-Man or something. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Spider-Man. Again, I'm trying to use the most simple prompts I can to not confuse the model and let it make more decisions which a lot of times turn out amazing. Just like this next one, I just added the word examination to the original Spider-Man prompt. And it looks marvel -less. Get it? Okay. Anyway. Let's jump to the next one. And since I started with superheroes, I wanted to try them all. So next one I did Doctor Strange and it looks awesome. My favorite one is all of them. And the prompt I used for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch, Doctor Strange examination. Amazing. Also in this next one, I just excluded the word examination from the prompt and I got these. They look pretty fine. By the way, I tried a lot of them with and without the word examination, as you will see in the next images. It does make a difference, and it is interesting to see what mid-journey will come up with. You got it, it's Tin Can Man. Uh, what? Oh, it's Iron Man, of course it is, lovely. I always love the ones with the words on them. Looks pretty Leonard-esque, if I do say so myself. The prompt for this one doesn't include the word examination, so it's just Leonardo da Vinci sketch Iron Man. And now the prompt for this one is, you guessed it, Leonardo da Vinci sketch Iron Man examination. Which one is your favorite? Mine is the third one and the fourth one. It looks great. I also wish the model blueprint was made of wood, but anyway, like and subscribe if you are liking this. Oh, yeah. This one is, as you can see, different than the others. And you might be asking yourself, what's the prompt for this? Well, the prompt I used for these fine gentlemen in the pictures is Leonardo da Vinci sketch Carrot King, so this is the Carrot King. This is how he looks like. And if you don't know who this guy is, then your mom's a hoe. Just joking now. This is a creature you might call Cthulhu. He is the most powerful cosmic entity created by H.P. Lovecraft. However, this time he was created by Leonardo da Vinci, and the prompt is as follows. Leonardo da Vinci sketch Cthulhu. Yes, very complex. This one's pretty endearing, actually. It's Hagrid from Harry Potter. Do I have to tell you the prompt again? Ah, fuck it. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Hagrid. There you have it for the people that are the reverse flash. Get it? Watch out. The government might take this video down because of this. This is a picture of flat earth showing how earth actually looks like. The prompt for this one was again a simple, simple one and goes as follows. Leonardo da Vinci sketch flat earth. Boom. Now I wanted a sketch of a plastic bottle when I got these. But this is all the AI gods gave me. I like the two on the right of the last image. They look pretty cool. And the prompt is Leonardo da Vinci's sketch plastic bottle. Boom! We're back to sketching Hero's baby girl. Now that's some gangster shit if Leonardo drew them. This looks so badass it fills the tip of my fingers with testosterone and ancient nostalgia. The prompt for this generation is Leonardo da Vinci sketch Batman. This next one is some Kabbalion, Illuminati alchemical shit, and I love it. And I just added the word examination to the last prompt. Yes, this is Batman or Batmage. Whatever, looks awesome. Okay, let's change the pace a bit now. These are not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This was before when they were babies. I will show the Ninja Turtles later on though. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch turtle babies. Aren't they just so cute? Now, remember, every prompt is simple, so the one I used for this one, if you haven't guessed by now, is Leonardo da Vinci sketch Darth Vader. I like the second one, how about you? Also, let me know what you would like to see sketched in a Leonardo da Vinci style for the next video. Okay, so these ones are my favorites, and I just changed Darth Vader to Star Wars, and I love them, especially the fourth. Yup, the fourth, get it? Okay, so the prompt for this one, again, was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Star Wars. Which one is your favorite? If you like it here so far, like and subscribe to get notified of more videos like these. If this one is successful and you like it, I want to start a series with this theme. Thanks. Now let's move to this one. Now this is in the same family as the others. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch lightsaber. I love all of them, especially because they have text around them. 
16 million people are the descendants of this guy right here. And he is Genghis Khan. This was just a thought. I wanted to see how it would look like. Looks pretty good, but not Spider-Man or Batman good. And the prompt I used for this one, if you haven't guessed, is Leonardo da Vinci sketch Genghis Khan. Okay, this one is Spider-Man level creation. Some would argue way more. But in terms of mid-journey and this video, this looks awesome. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Cyborg Jesus. I love them all. They look like blueprints in a futuristic civilization's high school books. As you can see on this one is Santa sketched by Leonardo da Vinci. I like this one, has a nice feel to it. The prompt was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Santa Claus. All of them look amazing and very believable. I am a robot and that is all I can say about this. Next one. This is a cool one, the prompt being. Leonardo da Vinci sketch Kurosaki Ichigo, however, the only one looking similar to Kurosaki is the last one, but I like it and looks amazing. The old men don't look bad at all. And I like Ichigo's memoirs on the side that Mid Journey has written. Cool stuff. When I wrote this prompt, I didn't know what technocratic meant, but I know I'd heard it somewhere and it sounded cool. And God, did I get some cool images with this one. The prompt I used was Leonardo da Vinci sketch technocratic race of dragons, and I love all of them. If Orochimaru was a mystical shamanic mage of the Kabalian, he would look like this. And I don't know if I could even put all of those words together, but that's how this feels. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Orochimaru. They all look eerie and I love them. On this one, the idea was cool, but not the results. But if I would have tried and refreshed a few times, I would have gotten it. However, this looks cool. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Batman riding on dragon. Of course, the first one looks the most like Batman, so I like that one best. This one here is pretty cool and unique, if I do say so myself. You have Hercules eating ice cream. I don't know what kind of ice cream is in the last picture, but looks yummy. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch. Hercules eating ice cream. And again, they're all my favorites. And this is Hercules' daddy Zeus again, eating ice cream. I mean, it's hot this time of year in Olympus. I love the ones with Zeus better because they look more like ice cream and they could be cool profile pictures for social media pages and stuff. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Zeus eating ice cream. The one and only fearsome ogre Shrek. I love these, honestly, especially the first and second one. Obviously, the prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci's sketch Shrek. It's kind of a combination of da Vinci's sketch style, but if he was in a 3D fairy tale universe. And so, here comes Bob of the Sponges, otherwise called SpongeBob by his snail and mother. I loved all of them, honestly and again. Looks as if da Vinci was living in an alternate 3D cartoon universe of sorts. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch SpongeBob. I don't know why, but this compels me to create a whole universe based on these kinds of buildings. And they're like castles or something like that. Or maybe just a village where everyone has these kinds of houses. I love it. And the prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch toilet. Simple yet fantastical. The second one is pretty cool, but the others are pretty generic. Also, the first one could be cool. The prompt I used for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch dollar. Which one is your favorite? Like, comment and subscribe, please. Just click something around the video so it gets boosted in the algo. Thanks. Now, the prompt I used for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketches a skateboard examination. I think they all look amazing. Even the first realistic one. It's like a shot of a Leonardo movie where he built skateboards instead of painting chapels. Looks rather rad, G. So, I got back to Jesus on this one. And even though I asked for him to be fighting Satan with a lightsaber, I'm still happy with the results, and I like all of them. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch, Jesus fighting Satan with lightsaber. Do you like it? I thought of something pretty cool when doing this one. What if Leonardo da Vinci made sketches of old telephones? And the results look fantastic, at least for me. I like what I see. The prompt for this one was Leonardo da Vinci sketch telephone. And this one is on par with Batman, Spider-Man and Cyborg Jesus. This is so badass. Even the old men look cool. I mean, they could be turtles underneath those robes. Who knows? The prompt for this one obviously was Leonardo da Vinci sketch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ring, ring, ring. It's Jesus Christ again, but this time as a badass testosterone filled heavyweight boxing champion. In the first one, he looks like a lightweight, but the others, he looks great, especially in the second image. The prompt for this one was 
Leonardo da Vinci sketch, Jesus Boxing. And let's end this episode on a high note with Jesus as Superman, because he was a Superman. Or some would say God, but whatever. I don't want to get into politic in too much. Hope you enjoy your week. Hit the like button and subscribe for more. And see you on the next one. Ooh, the prompt is Leonardo da Vinci sketch Jesus fly in Superman suit. There you go. Farewell now.